Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin and I do not like cinnamon. Alright guys, welcome to our first video. This is our first review video and I hope you like these videos that I'm about to create for all of you guys to enjoy and then we have a few of the things to talk about, okay? So how I review cigars basically is how does it taste to me? Do I like it? And is it worth your money? That's the only thing you gotta get out of this, all right? You're not gonna get a lot of information other than me renting out, talk about random stuff, and the cigar itself, okay? So let's get started. So you gotta see a lot of skip here and there because I usually run on and on and on and on and talk about all kind of weird stuff. And you know, it makes sense on a live chat, but it does not make sense when I'm talking to myself about things that really doesn't matter to this uh, video. I'm gonna try to make the video short. So today we gonna review this Davidoff Macau exclusive. Okay, it is an exclusive cigar that was just released recently. Uh, it's supposed to have really really good taste. So let's give it a try. A lot of coffee in this. A little bit woodsy. Coco, very nice. Uh, it's got a, like a semi torpedo kind of look to it. Uh, it is a Toro size, I believe. It's quite big. So let's cut it and give it a try. So cut it down, dust it off. I always dust your cigars. Even if you dust it, you're still gonna get some in your mouth. That always happens. As you can see, I cut like a little less because when I do torpedoes, you're supposed to do it at an angle. I just want to do it at a very minor angle because I still want to have the same experience how I smoke it. So that's how I do it. Trust these cigar lighters. Light it up. Very nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, I usually don't do videos because you gotta have something to interact with. I just don't have that personality to talk with myself all that much. So you probably hear some silence here and there, but then that's just gonna happen. Lights up very nicely. Let's give it a try. Initial draw, a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. I can taste it like pepper. As if I took a spoon and just licked the pepper off of it. It's a spoon. A lot of pepper is on my tongue right now. And I'm not particularly a, a, a pepper flavor guy. So I kind of taste it much more than any other people because if you enjoy it, you tend to like it, so. Yeah, a lot of pepper, dark, dark cocoa, a little bit woodsy, spice, and uh, aftertone of the sweet coffee-ish, milk coffee-ish taste. Right your hill, too much pepper for me to right your hill. I just I had a little bit come out of my nose. Uh, it's very heavy. It's very heavy. In terms of going out of my nose and the pepper taste, I can feel like everywhere the, the smoke went has a little burn, which is the pepper burn. A little bit sweet wooden taste came out. Like it's between it's mixture of cedar and oak, but not a lot. It's there. And it has this really subtle sweet tone, almost like almost licking sugar, almost like I licked sugar. But it's not a sweetened cap. It's not a sweetened cap. So that came from the smoke. Amazingly, came from the smoke. So let's go through one third, and then we'll see what happens.
So I just want to cut in here uh, because uh, why I'm smoking this is taking a while to smoke to really enjoy and I really uh, for this particular cigar you can really taste the sweet chocolate aroma the sweetness the sugar to it if you take it slow if you take it really slow the cold air that draws through is more sweet than if you heat it up so I just want to take a few moments to kind of talk about this cigar back years back uh, the Davidoff flagship in Macau received this exclusive cigar. So they started selling in Macau and they was like heavily liked, but they ran out. So it became their vault series and then they just decided to release to America people. So the American people can actually buy the cigar now. Uh, the price is twenty nine ninety nine for a bundle of 10. You can only buy in bundles in most stores. You could buy singles in some stores. Uh, they are technically 30 bucks a stick, right? So, and it's, it's not, their Vault series doesn't, uh, doesn't pack, it doesn't have a really beautiful packaging. It's just paper over this. So, it's really for people who collect these cigars for the cigar, not for the display and stuff like that. For me, uh, I like the band. It's kind of cool. And, you know, Macau being somewhere, you know, somewhat of an Asian culture, I, I definitely want to try it. Because when I went to Macau, I did not buy one of these. So it's a good chance to try. And then surprisingly, it's pretty good. I just don't like the pepper for, for myself. But everything else was perfect. So that's why I want to talk about this. As well as um, the, the size is actually called Bellicoso. So it's not... To me, this is really just tore over the torpedo head. But Bellicoso is the size... Uh, I think it's like 6x54 or something like that. So, you know... Just want to give you some of the background information. Of course, this information you can easily find online. Uh, you don't need me to tell you what those information are. Uh, I just want to give you my honest review on this particular cigar. How does it taste like in my point of view? So yeah, I just want to cut in here while I continue to work on the cigar. This this take a little bit to work on. I am pairing with the coffee today because this cocoa sweet taste really gets me. I'm like salivating over this because all the pepper. But hey, we'll continue, right? Okay, one third of the way through, and um, basically the pepper started to calm down a little bit. So it's much, much more enjoyable. You can taste more of the coffee and the sweet chocolate in this. And literally, the sweet kind of intensifies a little bit, which is really, really, really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it so far. First third. Burn is not that bad, um, given that I usually smoke too fast anyway. So uh, the sweetness really gets you to slow down smoking this. You, you take your time on smoking this. Really, really good. So we'll continue to see how the second third gets into it. Because right now it's working into the second third and start to give you that really sweet taste to it. So I'm looking forward for more of this sweet herbal uh, chocolate coffee taste in comparison to my coffee here, which is pretty heavy. It's, it's a, a, a bitter coffee that I'm drinking right now. And, you know, just want to also mention that this cigar is medium strength, if not medium plus. So some people who like a stronger strength will like this cigar a lot. So we'll continue to work on it. All right. Second, third. Now it's about time to remove the wrapper. And it's very, 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 very enjoyable, okay? This cigar is going to go good with coffee. This cigar is going to go good with some strong beer like Guinness uh, it's just gonna give you that nice woodsy uh, coffee creamy uh, a little bit of chocolate milk chocolate sweetness to it it's a great 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 blend okay uh, so far not much to complain about this because I just keep smoking it I almost forgot to hit recording the uh, recording again because it was just that enjoyable I was totally enjoying the cigar uh, while I'm going at it, you can see I barely drink my coffee because I just continue to smoke, 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 smoke. The, the, the flavor just really, I don't want it to end, kind of kind of blend. So I'll continue to work this down to the last third. I'm going to remove the bends now so we can go talk about the last third while I'm working. Finish, finish this halfway through and... Um, since why I'm, I, I hit the recording again, I really want to just share how to find the cigar, okay? There's only 500 bundles available in the U.S. And 
one of the ways to get it is from your local Davidoff shop. Now, if you want to get singles, some shop does sell singles. And shout out to uh, the Davidoff in Fifth Ave in New York. Uh, Carlos was able to get me these in the single by the singles. So if you want to get the singles, call your local uh, Davidoff or call Davidoff in New York Fifth Avenue. Ask for Carlos. He will set you up. He will be able to set you up for this. Uh, I don't think any online stores are selling this by the singles. So if you want to try one, just you know, to see how whether or not this is the blend that you will like, give him a call and, and just ask for Carlos. Say, I want to try this uh, Macau special exclusive from Davidoff, and I only want one or two. Set me up, because Tony said you would. And then he will set you up, okay? So, you know, let's finish this and give the final review of this cigar. See you in a little bit. Okay, so now I finished the last third, and basically what happened is it gets much, much more stronger. It's literally a full body, full, full body. It's from medium plus to full body at the end. It's the pepper all came back. You got to get all this pepper. You got to get the last little bit of the, like, Ugh! all the strength came back at the end, okay? It's just like all pepper, all coffee. The sweetness kind of went away, but woodsy still stayed, cocoa still stayed. Just the last little bit with all the strength possible getting your way in the last little bit. You just had to work your way through it. Literally, this is not a cigar that you don't have a meal for. All right? don't, don't smoke this in the, for breakfast. Have a big meal before you have it because it's that strong. Okay, it's that strong. I literally, I was working on the announcement video over there. Continue to smoke it. Before you know it, it's like, whoa, what happened? It just kicks me. It's like... Hey, what are you doing? Pay attention to the cigar. Okay, so I totally enjoyed it. Very, very enjoyable. It is a cigar um, that you can enjoy. The aroma, the taste is really easy to pick up. The Habano wrapper, really tasty, really, really tasty cigar. So, $29.99, is it worth it? Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Absolutely, definitely worth it to try at least one time, okay? I can't say enough good thing about this one. This might be one of my favorite cigars for 2019 because it's just good. It was just good, all right? I, I, I actually look, I was looking for this cigar uh, when it first came out, but I was kind of skeptical whether or not to buy uh, a bundle of cigars for that kind of price because for me presentation was number one this thing does not have a presentation for the box like I said it was wrapped in paper but now I can understand why they put this into their vault series where you know they are only have a very limited release so do I like it yes I like it does it taste good yes it tastes good $29.99 is it worth it yeah it actually lasts quite a bit of time for me it lasts through me the whole editing process of the announcement video. So I definitely recommend for you to try it. If you have not tried it yet, uh, look uh, for your local Davidoff to find the cigar uh, or find someone that had a whole bundle and trade for it because um, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I, I can't say enough good thing about this. It's, it, it was a great start for my first review video. I'm actually very happy about this cigar. So please Go try the cigar, and uh, now that you watch this whole video, please click subscribe, please click like, please click uh, the bell button so that you can get more of the uh, video in the future, and I hope you like this video. So we'll have more video coming up. Please stay tuned. You gotta give me a little time to edit. I really, I'm really bad at editing. Anyways, so Soy Sauce Assassin here signing off. Stay saucy. I'll see you next time. Bye.